Hello, I'm Eliani from the Department of Environmental and Occupational Health, Faculty of Medicines and Health Sciences, University of Putra, Malaysia. Thank you for taking your time to hear me out. And I'm going to share with you uh, on my research on the clean air route to school. And uh, let me grab your attention by looking at the picture of uh, typical Malaysian school children waiting for their parents um, at the school compound and the story of Ahmed. Ahmed is a seven years old boy uh, having obesity. And one day his mother told him that he needs to walk to school instead of she sending him off by car. And Ahmed will have two thoughts in his mind. What if he can be able to walk to school by himself? And another possibility, what if he can get hit by another car uh, and whether he can get kidnapped? These two what ifs of ability, ability and also safety will like came to his mind. But then he never had a thought that he might be exposed to air pollution when he uh, commute to school by walking. And this has motivated us to conduct a study to looking at uh, the exposure of Malaysian school children when they commute to school. And we done a preliminary study looking at the uh, typical exposure of uh, daily exposure um, of a typical school day. And we found that uh, travel to school actually uh, contribute to the uh, increase of inhalation dose of particulate matter 2.5 and also nitrogen dioxide. And we wanted to look further in terms of like, let's say if this school children taking the alternative route uh, and, also, um, and also their personal exposure to air pollutants in terms of uh, in terms of different time and space. So whether this uh, can give effects to their uh, like health co-benefits and also increase uh, in terms of their health related behavior. And also we wanted to look as well into the uh, uh, the effects of uh, built environment intervention, such as having a school playground, uh, maybe it can uh, add on in terms of health co-benefits and also the effects of a crown of trees that might reduce the wind speed or yeah, can decrease the air pollution. So this can be, uh, can give or like can help Ahmed and, he, and maybe his friends uh, to find a safer, a better and healthier routes to school. Thank you.